seriously, we got a big red spot. We're almost certain that this is a spider bite, and I'm gonna show you guys why here in just a second. But how many days has this been bothering you, Swede? About seven. Seven days, it's just gradually getting worse, right? Yes. Okay, so now we've got Swede's um, face covered, so her identity is protected. But I want you guys to see, this is the scalp, and you can see the eschar. She's got the black spot there, that's actually an eschar. And then she's got the, the darker red here and then all the way out. So, so she's actually very tender all the way out here. And if you can see over here, she's got a lot of erythema or redness and tenderness way out here. It probably doesn't hurt back here, does it? But the closer I get to oh, this, yeah. she starts feeling a lot of pain. And if I push on it, it's actually what we call fluctuant, which means that there's some kind of fluid under the skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to numb this up. Now I'm gonna have to use a little alcohol on you, okay? So this, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel just a little bit of that. Being real gentle. Now this part, there's no way around it. It's just gonna hurt. I'm gonna have to give you a little shot. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You're gonna feel a stick sting and a burn. So okay. here we go. Little stick, sting, mm -hmm. burn. That wasn't terrible, was it? Mm -mm. Okay, good. So we're slowly injecting some 1% lidocaine with epinephrine. And hopefully, we're gonna get enough anesthesia here where we'll be able to drain this and not cause Swede a lot of pain. Okay, going in well. All right. Now all we're gonna do here is we're gonna take an 18 gauge needle and we're gonna basically incise this with the needle. So we're gonna stick that, there we go. See the pus coming out of there? You see that? Mm -hmm. Did that hurt? No. Well, guess what? You have pus. We had pus because we felt it, right? Mm -hmm. So that little bit of pus, and I'm gonna just gently kind of push more. Oh yeah, we got more in there. Okay. See, be careful. That pus coming out of there. coming out of there you are going to get significant pain relief we just got a whole bunch of pus mm. out of there and there's more feeling okay yes sweet's kind of a tough name so I think with a name like Swede <laughs> you can handle it <laughs> but I don't want anybody to have any more pain than they absolutely have to so one more little push here I think we're gonna be good now, what we want to do is we want to keep this open so that it can continue to drain. So you're going to need to do warm compresses two to three, maybe four times a day if possible. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to get a cult here in just a second. And also, don't put any ointments on this. Okay. Because if you put ointments on it, then what that'll do is it'll block it, right? Mm -hmm. Actually, up under the scalp there with that culture in. All right, if, we, if you block it, then the abscess will come back. And you don't want that, right? Right. That's no fun. Okay, Swede, thanks for letting us video. Oh, I didn't ask. Do you mind if we video you for our friends on YouTube? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. You're a great patient. You're gonna feel a lot better. We are gonna give you antibiotics and something for pain. Thank you. All right, thank you. You don't get to rehearse. Do I say my name? No. Okay. So tell us about your experience with Meta 7. Hey, it's been great. Um, lots lots more energy. Um, I was kind of in a slump and I wasn't working out and I started the Meta 7. And I'm working out, I've got more energy. I don't want to nap or get that slump during like two o'clock in the afternoon. I just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great. I love it. And um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. Wonderful. Do you feel jittery and shaky, any of that kind of experience? Not at all. Not at all. Feel natural. Yes. Yes. Terrific. Thanks for sharing. Sure.